Hello dear students, in this video I will be talking about the ISI MSQB's crash course pattern. So now ISI's entire structure it is believed to be like very hard and all. Okay, so it's not, not saying that's very easy, but the thing is that we can make it possible even with this crash course. Every year, if you ask me, is it possible, sir, have you done it with others? Yes, we have done it. So I will be doing the same thing, exactly same thing with you. So now how we are going to help you out. So the entire ISF syllabus is divided into actually three parts. One is mathematics, second one is micro, and the third one is macro. Now the thing is that previously, ISI was, uh, the MCQ portions was almost all the questions used to come from math, and the subjective was almost all used to come from the economics portion but now they have introduced in the mcq segments also microeconomics questions from the few years back okay so and they are coming with a very very high percentage so now how to tackle these questions so now when it comes to the mathematics part so the first part uh, the weekly structure on a daily basis how we are going to do it okay so i'm not going to give you the entire exactly one which day because you know that is a very stereotypical way many of the education institutes they provide okay day one this day two this and they will be followed exactly like this it may be make you happy okay everything will be covered but how that is going to be covered it is dependent on the batches they do it with like 50 60 students batch they don't care about the thing and here I don't do it with respect to like uh, like a rented professor. So all are from uh, associated with ISI. So they know the things they have cracked it, and just the way we guys prepared, we will make you help you in that way. Okay. So not a brief performer of this thing. A base uh, we can say uh, itinerary will be made, but what happens on that spot on that day that depends on you as well how you are keeping up you may need a recapitulation upon a particular topic that will also be provided to you so let's go for it now the structure first we will start with algebra so that is the binomial and apgp we will start with because now a lot of questions a lot of zones from uh, associated questions from that so now we will start with that uh, in uh, the past few years a little bit of advanced questions come from the permutation combination and a little bit of linear algebra as well so we will start with a little bit of maths so you need to get a grip in maths because isi is about if you don't know eco then also still it's okay for them but if you don't know maths it's not at all okay so we will start with maths in the first week with this algebra and uh, linear algebra questions uh, and uh, the topics and then directly in the middle of the week we will go to the consumer behavior and remember that this consumer is not like the normal type of consumer behavior type of questions this is like advanced level consumer behavior questions and then the theory of production comes alongside with it now this will also be go with uh, when you get a little bit of grip in the microeconomics portion then directly we will jump into the macro now with this macro macro we will be starting with simple Keynesian model solo growth model these two things okay here although they mention national income accounting is there but they don't give a lot of questions from that so that we will be there doing it now once you get a grip in this area so suddenly a little bit of more maths is needed so now we will do calculus but calculus one of the most important part is the integral calculus although in a normal uh, cases integral calculus doesn't come much but a lot of consumer surplus questions and budget questions and in, in many different zones I have seen that the calculus is coming integral calculus and differential calculus both and convexity and quasi convexity based questions are like saying like hotcakes in ISI's entrance examination so that will also be there so now in this thing uh, now we will get to the ISLM part ISLM uh, diagonal representations are very important they will ask you to draw diagrams in the subjective zone so that we will do now after this we will be going back to back to back sessions on the production cost and market market with monopoly perfect competition and duopoly at the kurno uh, this thing will be going so because um, you know they're getting a grip in the market is because that is uh, covering like 40 to 45 percent of the questions from the entire zone then uh, again we'll get to a little bit of statistics after this because you know this has to be done like parallelly it's not like an, any one you do and the other you leave not like that so in the next in the very next week we will be doing it with respect to the next sessions rather say with respect to elementary statistics to probability distribution and uh, all the distributions till the normal distribution and sometimes they give it hypergeometric geometry and uh, log normal distributions as well remember that although in the syllabus they mentioned only three or four but that doesn't matter for them now after this thing we will get back to the 
very on macroeconomics again the Phillips card elementary open uh, economy macroeconomics and uh, uh, again a revisionary session with the solo model will comes back and remember that Harold Domar model is also a size favorite they give a question not every year so I will be doing that after doing this thing we will get back to um, uh, the last part of the microeconomic segment that's the general equilibrium welfare economics and uh, Ricardian trade and, uh, and actually trade question comes do come so microeconomics is there so they added the Ricardian theory hexa rolling theory Ripsinski theorem question Stolberg Samuelson theorem factor price equalization theorem these all things will be there this is very very important okay so this structurization of the uh, syllabus and the pattern will be there and uh, I will do a cumulative uh, mock test pattern. What is a cumulative uh, mock test pattern? So, for example, we will do it with respect to one topic, and uh, then in the next topic, we will be doing it with respect to first and second, then third examination will be first, second, and third, then the fourth examination will be first, second, third, and fourth. Okay, so in that way, the entire syllabus will be done within a ziffy. Okay. So all these things will be done and remember that there will be specialized one-to-one uh, -one mentoring session every time after a session. You can ask me any questions or you have seen something. So I will ask it to you as well. So we'll do it within a very small batch time. Okay. So this is the overall approach and overall syllabus structure for uh, this ISI uh, MSQE uh, papers and uh, the crash course pattern. This is also applicable for the other economics entrances as well. Okay, so for that I will have a separate discussion and uh, if you are giving it all the th examinations alongside it as well, for example, CVD PG also is uh, giving, uh, giving it for uh, uh, other entrances uh, of the university's entrance like Ship and other universities still taking their own entrance exam. Examination. So, which is are not under CVT. Unfortunately, DAC uh, is now under, JNU is now under them. Okay, they used to have a separate examination. I am saying unfortunately for a particular reason. In the class, I will discuss. Okay, so this is the scenario now. So, I hope I have made you understand the basic uh, scenario of it. So, let's get ready and let's get your seat booked for ISI this year. All the very best.